Good afternoon. Well, it's good it's afternoon here. It might be morning wherever you are, whenever you're watching this video. Um, but I'm sitting here in my studio and thought it would be nice to talk to you about my latest book. My name is Vicky Haffenden. Um, I'm an English knitwear designer and educator. And I'm also the author of Translating Between Hand and Machine Knitting, uh, which is a book that was published about five years ago. And this is my latest book, Single and Double Bed Machine Knitting, The Designer's Guide. And this book is published by Crowwood Press in the UK and is available via online uh, sellers throughout the world. The book, uh, it, I wrote it really to try and enable you to use a machine knitting, sorry, a knitting machine to create your own designs. It's not really for patterns or um, things that you can just copy. It's about enabling machine knitters to get the most out of their knitting machine. So whether you have a single bed or a double bed or a Passat, a Knitmaster Brother, Silver Reed, Toyota, Knit King, Studio, whatever make you have, this book will help you. It's not specific to any make. It is about designing for machine knitting. So although I do discuss uh, the, the models I've talked about, mostly I concentrate on Brothers and Silver Reed Knitmaster machines, purely because those are probably the most common. Uh, but also I had to stop somewhere, so I had to choose some models to work with. So, for example, um, at the beginning, it, it's uh, when I talk about single bed machine knitting, um, I have um, diagrams, we'll find your diagram, of the of the um, the machines themselves and how to identify parts of them. So this is a, a, a silver reed carriage. Is it silver? Is it, uh, no, sorry, it's a brother carriage. Um, and information about how it works and what buttons do and whatever so it, it's got quite a lot of di in fact it's got a lot of diagrams um and photographs step-by-step -step instructions but i i wrote it try to create it very logically so that you could so you could work through it and build on your learning as you go so if you are a single bed you, know, you have a single bed knitting machine and you're reasonably uh new and your journey to machine knitting then you can start at the beginning which is um the fundamentals of single bed machine knitting uh, and that's where you'll find the, the diagrams of the machines and there's in the introduction before that there's a whole lot about uh, of information about yarns and fibers and what a, what yarn weights are good for what gauge of machine it talks to talk i talk about the gauges of different machines and the pros and cons of um single bed and double bed machine knitting then it goes into a more detailed overview of machine knitting and then moves into stitch, manipula stitch manipulation and patterning and manual manipulation, double bed machine knitting, how to cast on. In single bed section, it's already talked about how to cast on in single bed. Then in double bed, I talk about how to cast on double bed in various ways, why you, you might want to cast on, for example, two and one rib. And let me just see if I can find an example of this. Yeah, so example so for for instance this this illustration is step by step how to cast on double bed and um what what it, what I've included are these um diagrams to show you as if you're looking down on the needle bed what the yarn is doing with the needles so you can actually see if you looked down on top of your machine, you would see that configuration of yarn and needles, and that's an all needle rib. Uh, and throughout uh, double bed in particular section, I have done a, put in a lot of these diagrams to help you see clearly what should be happening on your machine rather than just the face of the fabric. There are also uh, charts like this to help you <laughs> to help you set your machine correctly for certain types of knitting. That's circular knitting in the example there. Um, and then working through the book, it, um, finding inspiration and designing pattern covers how to um, design your own patterns. And I put examples in there about um, and, and, and then of how to develop a pattern and then how to look at repeats, because, of course, on a knitting machine, 
on a punch card machine, you've got a 24 stitch repeat generally. Um, and how you work out a punch card that will fit in that repeat, but give you a, a more interesting pattern. Uh, how to um, how to work out double bed punch cards. Uh, and there again, there are diagrams of what the punch card will look like, what you're aiming for, and then with colour patterns on it as well. So um, we move through this, uh, through the, the uh, examples. So let me just show you this one. This would be an example of the double bed section of the punch card with the colours and how to work it. Um, jacquard, of course, because most people who have a ribble want to knit jacquard. So there's a whole section on double bed pattern uh, punch card patterning, jacquard sections, how to knit certain jacquards. And then also at the at the end of each chapter, there's a section called In the Design Studio. So if you say you've learned how to cast on double bed for in a section, uh, in, in a chapter, then at the end, there's what can you do with simple double bed knitting? How can you make it uh, more interesting? How can you design rather than just knit a straight double bed fabric? Uh, in the section about designing a punch card, um, there is a, a more information about how you can put colour into a punch card, how you work with colour and sort of changing, grading colours up, how you might change that. Uh, also, how you might design a simple punch card by simplifying a design down something that's quite complicated, how you actually refine it down into something that you can put onto a punch card. Um, and then in the double bed section, there's, uh, there's also how to do blister stitch, um, adding extra colour to your jacquards and your fair isles, um, double face jacquard pockets, quilt and blister stitch. I think I've mentioned blister stitch already. Uh, a little section throughout the book, I would talk about pass up machines because although the book isn't about pass up machines, they are obviously a double bed machine and a lot of people have them. Therefore, I've dropped in little t hints and tips about pass ups, um, punch pile, pile knitting, um, I'm just going through the book to try to find things uh, to, to give you a, a sort of a highlight of what it, what it might have. Then there's colour, you know, designing with colour, how to work with colours, standard colour palettes, developing your own colour palettes, uh, putting in little tiny touches of colour, about contrasting, using contrast colours, working with stripes. Um, it, it's very much a designer's palette for you to work with and to create your own designs. So in the final chapter of the book, there is a section on um, called Designer Insights. And in this section, I've featured seven designers who produce garments using domestic knitting machines. So they, their business is, is modelled using on, on using domestic knitting machines, which is what the book is about. Therefore, it sort of sums it up that these are the sort of creative practices that may come out of developing yourself as a designer. So I do hope you take a look at the book. Um, let me show you the title again. It is Single and Double Bed Machine Knitting, The Designer's Guide by me, Vicky Haffenden. And um, yeah, so do take a look and you will find me on my website, vickyhaffenden.com. And you will come and see more about the book there. And you can also look at it on Crowwood Press. Thanks for watching.